everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this double pop-out Z-fold card. So it's the pop-out Z-fold that I've made, which is this half here. So a lot of you will recognise that card. I've basically just doubled it up and I really love how this one looks. So this is a special card for a 40th wedding anniversary. It's actually for my parents. Now this one isn't finished yet. I'm still working on it. I was waiting for the these kind of the Nouveau drops here to dry because this is going to be mistletoe berries and then I've got mistletoe that's going in here so well you can tell they got married in the month of December so and uh, yeah there's a few I'm not going to go into all the details of it it's it's got the robin on there for a reason and yeah it's just I know she's going to love this or they are going to love it and then the back you've got lots of room for your message which again I'll show you in a moment but it all folds nice and flat kind of clicks in you, know, you can put one side under the other, it's entirely up to you, but it all folds flat and fits into a matching envelope, which I'll show you how to make as well. So let's get into the tutorial. So there again is what we're going to achieve. So I've done one half and I'm going to do the other one with you. So those of you that have made the Z, the pop-out Z fold card, you're, you know, you just want to do two of those and basically stick them together. So I've got all the pieces here. I'm using, as you can see, my favourite paper Christmas pad. This and the Dovecraft Christmas Tales are my two favourites. Or maybe Magical Stories as well. Hey, I've got three. Anyway, so it is, that's for the envelope. So I'm going to keep that, pop that one there. So it's the Cozy Christmas. Absolutely love this one. It's so nice. I brought two packs. That was the other pack that I brought at the craft show. So this one's nearly gone, but then I've got that one as well. So... And then the one that I showed you is using this one here, the Paper Boutique, The Essence of Christmas. It's a beautiful one, it's really nice. And uh, yeah, that's what I used. Okay, so you're gonna need two pieces of 10 by seven inch cardstock. And you want to score along the 10 inch side, you're gonna score at two and a half and five. And then you want to draw a pencil line at seven and a half. So I've already done mine there. So pencil line all the way through at seven and a half. Okay. Then rotate it onto the seven inch side. And you want to come in at two and a quarter. You want to hover your stylus over the first section and then start scoring in the second past that score line down to the pencil line. So you're basically scoring within the two centre kind of panels. So if I just bring that up here, so there's, if I pop it this way, there's your two and a half and there's your five score line and then there's the seven and a half pencil line. Rotate it that way and you're going to just hover your stylus at two and a quarter until you get to the first score line and then score down past that second score line and down to the pencil line. And then you want to do your next score line in the centre there at four and three quarters, okay? And you can use a ruler if you want because I just kind of eyeballed that. But if you're a bit worried that you won't get it exact, put your ruler down so it's nice and straight and then just kind of run it along there and then it will fall into the track. You can take it away then. Okay, and we're going to end up cutting down these two here. So it's just like we do for the other one. So do that twice. Okay, then we want to do a little bit of cutting. So I'm just going to grab my knife there. And with a metal ruler, you just want to cut down that score line. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up there, make sure it's nice and straight. And then just cut. Like so. And then again on this one here. Okay, and then just pop all that away. And then you want to rub out your pencil line. So make sure you only do it lightly so you don't see that. Okay, and then you're going to score, maybe, no, because I always try not to score on top of a pencil mark because sometimes it can then embed it and it's a bit harder to rub out. So do rub it out, but then you just want to join the two kind of cut lines. You can see there, there's your two cut lines. You want to score in between those there. So I'm just going to bring my ruler in, just line that up. What I'll do is use my grid as well so I can make sure I'm still at seven and a half which is there and there use the thin end I can just see my cut lines there so I'm just going to join those up and there we go yeah perfect and then what you want to do so you're going to fold out that first score line 
bring this up and as you bring it up these ones will then fall back okay so you're pulling this piece out so that's a mountain these will be valleys and then this piece in the middle will be a, a mountain yeah a mountain and fold it right across and it should all lie flat and that is your pop out Z fold card so if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen this style this is really nice on its own and I put a lovely big flower in the center of mine so like I said do check out that one there but what you're going to do now because you would have done this twice is you're going to have two like that you're just going to turn one around and it's going to stick over the top of that one and there you have that shape I love it I think it's really really cool okay so what you want to do though before you decide which one you want to stick over the top it really doesn't matter whatever one goes over the top so the one underneath you want to take just a little bit off of here it will just help when the whole thing folds you know when you go to put it in your envelope so I'm just going to take pop it back in my trimmer and I'm taking about one eighth of an inch off just a little slither okay you see there and then with the piece that you've just taken that piece you know that slither from I'm going to stick down so I'm just going to add my glue okay and then pop it underneath now you still want to make sure that the edge edge of this one lines lies up <laughs> can't get my words out that the edge of this one lines up with this one underneath so don't push it right in it just will you've just taken away a bulk there and like I said it will make a difference and just stick that one down so make sure you know it does line up with that score line nicely and then you can kind of practice folding them in so like I said it doesn't matter which side but whatever one you do just go over all of your score lines just burnishing everything there just making sure that it gets used to kind of where it needs to be like so and now we've got that effect okay now the fun part is to decorate so I have lots of mats and layers here and I've gone and stuck loads of it all down on the silver so I've got my background mat is the silver mirrored cardstock I absolutely love using mirrored cardstock especially on these kind of display style cards so I'm going to tell you the measurements and I've got lots of different patterns and stuff because I need to kind of play around with where you know what's going where but I'm going to do these ones first because I know where these are going so I've got one for the middle I've got one for the outside here and then I've got one that's going to go here. So each of these sections are two and a half wide. So the, the silver mat here is two and a quarter by six and three quarters. And then the one the pattern paper on top is two by six and a half. So it's just my standard mats just dropping down by that quarter inch increment. And that is going to sit in there perfectly and you'll get that nice border. So that size, you actually want five of each. But then you want to look at your pattern papers because I've got three the same on the front. I've got one different for the back and then I've got a plain one for the back for me to write my message. So these ones are going to go underneath each of these ones on the other side. And I'll stick all those down in a minute. Then I have these pieces here. So actually, no, let me do the slightly smaller ones because then I can remember where I'm placing all these. Because I have done different patterns. So I've got one there, one there, one there and one there. Because these squares are not quite squares, they're more of a rectangle, whereas these are, and these are exact squares, they're two and a half by two and a half. And then I've got four of these, which are going to go on the side bits of each of these ones here. So there's four there. So in total of this size, you want eight that are, just grab my ruler so I make sure I get it right, that are two and a quarter by two. That's the silver. And the pattern is two by one and three quarters and you want eight again all this is always listed in my blog so don't worry about writing it all down now but then those ones are going to go on the side pieces there and then I've got these ones to go either side of here which have got that so again this is a two and a half by two and a half square so these are the silver are two and a quarter squared and then the pattern is two inches squared they're going to go on each side then you'd want that same size again for the front, but I've done mine slightly differently because I think all I'm going to do is lay down a mirrored cardstock and then I've gone and fussy cut all of these presents and I'm going to do like a little cluster on each one and then I'm going to have this kind of tag in the centre there saying so sending you, sending love at Christmas. So if you want these same sizes for the back you can, but all I'm doing for the back is just these ones. 
but if you want to do the back then you just need to do these same sizes. So that's where we are for the minute, so I'm going to go and get all this stuck down. Okay, so this is how it looks. I love it. I love all the different sides. I think it looks really, really cool. And then the back, you can see that I've just got those two. Like I said, you can put more on there. I'm in two minds, really. I, not that it's a waste, but I guess it could look quite cool, but we'll see. It's up to you. I'm going to leave that one for you because no one is going to ever really see that. They're going to, you know, look once for the, at the message and then it's always going to be displayed. Just make sure that glue's stuck down still. You know, it's then going to just always be displayed that way. So I don't know. Anyway, then I'm going to, like I said, add my little sentiment there. And then I've got the, the Christmas wishes to go inside, but then all of these, I'm just going to kind of build up on some foam. So I'm going to put each one on a little bit of foam adhesive. I've got the actual main parcel there. I want a little bit of the silver to kind of like, just kind of poke out through and overlap some of it. And the nice thing is, is that you can have things overhanging on this piece, obviously not too much over this bit because it needs to fit in your envelope because obviously that all folds down and it will run you know, along the sides there. So yeah, don't go too mad, but you can certainly come in this area here, but I want to do something like that on each side, I think. So I don't know, I look at it, I don't know whether to just put more pattern paper there and then do something just with some presents. Maybe I just do a few presents and pattern paper. Maybe that's nicer and keep that down there. See, right now, again, I'm just talking to myself, imagining you're here now, and I can hear you saying, no, Sam, do what you originally done. I think I'm going to put some pattern paper and then just have something like that. Pop that one in behind there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I prefer that. And then pop a couple of little ones down there and have that one. Maybe a two together. Or maybe I have them here. I'm trying to see what it looks like in the screen. See, that looks a bit lost there, but I think if I pop it up there, it looks a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this on high speed. I'm gonna just cut a, another pattern paper. Or do I put it directly on this? No, I'm gonna cut a similar paper from the pad. Stick that down so it'll be another one of these mats that are this size so it will be two by two and then I'm going to stick these views in some foam. Okay, and there's the finished card. I really like it. I'm pleased now that I've done that more, pl I guess, plainer background, so I think the presents really stand out. And I've got a little grouping there and there, and then I also went and added one there as well. I think I've got some, I think that might be a bit of grease from my fingers because I put, I put hand cream on. I probably will cover them because I've got some spare here, so I might as well use them and um, I'll fill up with some more pattern paper. So I've got lots of scraps. So just, yeah, double your, your quantities that I gave you there. But I think it's really, really nice. And like I said, it does all fold down nicely. So when they pull it out, I think it looks, yeah, love it. Okay, so now the envelope. So you want a piece of, I've got this one here. This is 11 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters. Now, because this is a large card, so it's seven by seven and a half, when you've got your envelope punch board, what you want to do is you actually end up going off the the scale so it goes up to five but you actually want to punch at five and three quarters so there's already a quarter here so the up to the very edge there is actually five and a quarter so what I've done is I just laid this end of this punch board the one and a half section so I've just got half an inch here. And then I just laid my, make sure it's all straight, laid my card stocks. This is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Where's my little doodah? 
and then just pull this out so it lines up with the you know the edge there and you know then that that's overhanging by um, three quarters so that's your five and three quarters punch and then bring it down score don't worry if you're you know worried that you might be a little bit off or a bit more it's, you've got a quarter of an inch allowance around the actual size of the card so it, you know you're going to be okay so you can't score all the way down on this one I've got one of the old boards just flip the whole thing around so that's now at the opposite end and again I'm just going to drag that out to there punch and score like so and then I can get rid of that now so all you need to do is just focus on this piece and you want this corner to line up with the line I can just about see mine I know it's there punch and score and that will join up just there which is what you want and again just rotate bring that one along there are envelope calculators online as well so if you just put in that it's a seven by seven and a half it will show you how to do them that way as well so don't worry if you don't have the punch board you can still make the envelope but now I've got that there and although my score lines haven't quite you know joined it's fine you know you've got enough there to be able to fold so bring all that in and then with any of my kind of bulky larger cards what I always like to do is actually lay it in here see so now I can you see there's a quarter of an inch on all four sides before it actually folds so you've got plenty of room but um, yeah so now all I need to do is just fold in each side around the card because I've got that overhanging there but because we've got that quarter of an inch I can just butt it up this end a little bit and it will fit in and then that one just bring them over like that and then I'm going to run some oh, double sided tape down that one and that one there take the backing off of one side and then that will kind of tack it in place so already it's kind of it's got like a dome shape to it so it's a bit bouncy but that means it's not going to squash your card so I, I do like making them this way and then just bring up that one there and that will stick perfectly and then I just need to add some double sided tape along here and there and then I can peel that off once I've wrote in it and then stick that down and there's your envelope. I think it looks lovely. So I'll just pull that one out there because now that's all matching. It looks really nice together. There is my other one. And I think they look great. I'm really pleased with these. I'll definitely be making some more. So I'll probably do a birthday one in the new year and play around with the sizings a little bit because I know a lot of you like to, you know, do the, a lot of the same car, but then, you know, again, have different sizes and different options. So I will definitely be revisiting this one again. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's inspired you. Can't wait, as always, to see your versions that you share over on our Facebook group, Mixed Up Crafters. So if you haven't joined, go do it because it's amazing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Bye.